We have three baseball gloves today. One actually belongs to Will Taylor from the Bat Bros. This one is a slow pitch softball Wilson A2000. This one is just from a fan, but it has the Bat Bros logo on it. But it's not for the Bat Bros. We're doing something different to each glove. For example, this is like a full restart. Relace it, clean it, and everything. But I actually want to start off with this Ignite. Check this out. Okay, so Ignite Glove Co. We got camel brown leather on like the welting there. Tan laces, which are looking great. And then this is also tan, like the finger pad and the binding. This thing is literally a rock. I mean, super, 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 super stiff. This is traditional, squeezing as hard as I can. I can't make it close. The guy who sent this glove in said, hey, break it in however you think is best. Here's what I'll show you. The finger pad here has this big bulge from the welting that goes down. So the welting doesn't stop. It actually goes behind the finger pad and you can feel it like 100%. So because that's so annoying, we're gonna go two in the pinky, finger in. Now, as I said, this thing is a tank. Our goal is to make it so it's like practice ready. He needs to be able to use it, field with it, play catch with it. Right now, if you play catch with this, yeah, you could catch some, but you're gonna have a ton that just hit and drop out. Wow, that heel is so thick, dude. That is like, it's like a pillow, but not soft. It's like a rock pillow. Goodness. Very small amount of hitting, but it already made a huge difference. The heel is starting to actually break down so we can close it, right? Oh yeah, also guys, just a reminder, every glove is gonna get sent home with like a little bit of a gift. I like to just surprise people and say thank you for sending your glove out. These are what you call daddy hacks. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. I want to show you guys. This is one of those gloves where it's breaking in kind of quickly to just to squeeze it. Like I could easily squeeze right now, even though I can close it, nowhere near ready. So the palm and everything are incredibly rock hard. So I have to try extra hard to not just break in the hinges here and here, but putting that glove on the ground and breaking in all that palm leather. So starting here and also hitting down in the middle of the palm section to squish it together. Start flexing all the leather that right now, I mean, gosh, this thing's crazy stiff. Let me hit this thing a little bit more and then I'll show you how he actually wants it shaped. Okay, I mean, this thing feels good but I am super tired. It definitely needs more work. I'll show you, this is like an easy squeeze. I can get to here, squeeze kind of hard. We can close all the way. Uh, pretty dang deep because I'm going to in the pinky. It's not super deep or anything. Feeling pretty good so far. I mentioned telling you how we wanted to shape it, but I just called him. He said, just do whatever I want. So we're gonna do like an open style flare, not like the curve those pinkies super hard or anything like that, just open. Curl these fingers in just a little bit and then two in the pinky, uh, two hinges. So. Nice, deep pocket, even close. Where, like I said, we're already there. It just needs to be broken in more. Okay, so I don't know really why I chose to do this outside. It's really cold. It was literally snowing this morning. But anyway, new scenery, so good video. The whole point of what we're doing is cleaning the glove. If you can see, our palm is like pretty dirty there. Other than that though, this thing's not in horrible condition. It's just dusty and dirty. So let's get to it. This is genuinely like just a horrible idea. My hands are so cold. I'm not happy. You guys, this glove on its own is already really cool. Just check it out. The palm stamping is all really cool. I'm a big fan. This thumb logo, I love. I really want to clean that up good. I hope it, you know, is bright and shiny at the end. But this thing actually belongs to Bat Bro Will. We're going to clean it up for him. We're using Sarna glove cleaner, and then we're going to be using Sarna conditioner once it's all done. But here's something we didn't do last time. This is like a wiry brush. It's not super hard or anything. You can see I can bend them, but it's wired. Once I take all these laces out, I'm going to brush that inside palm liner and just get rid of a lot of that like hanging leather. I'm not going like this and brushing as hard as I can, just kind of brushing lightly to get the easy fall off pieces just to go away. That was just awful English. Okay. Unlacing a glove sounds like it would be easy, but dude, it sucks. 
You know a glove is old when they've got these metal rings. I know that has a name, but I forget what it is. And it's kind of fascinating because look at, can you see the laces that were around this have like the metal almost like rubbed off against it. Like they have like silver. It's just, I don't know, interesting. Boom, check this out, you guys. Looks so good. I don't want to pull too far on this. Some of this palm adhesive for this uh, palm pad is actually still hanging in there, so that's cool. All right, so the glove is like completely unlaced. I am gonna go ahead and kind of clean up this palm liner, but after that, we're gonna be actually brushing and cleaning the glove. Okay, this really is the fun part. Wow, that's cool. I didn't even know that this was there before, but from cleaning some of that dirt, it looks like at one point they had like a name and a phone number. That's cool. All right, let's get that Nakona logo. I want this to shine bright. Already brighter for sure. Loving that. I might do a little bit of additional work if it's not as bright as I want to once it dries, but for now it's good. After all that tedious work, uh, it is done. It really does look good. I feel like we couldn't have chosen a better lace color. This just goes perfectly. Like you almost can't even tell that it got relaced, if that makes sense. I'm not a huge fan of just like going with blue for something like this. Okay, so this honestly is looking great. Check out how after relacing it, this thing isn't even collapsing anymore. Now that might seem great, but it's kind of awkward because all of this leather is like super broken in while we have these stiff laces. So what I'm gonna do is kind of pound away just to even it out, make it feel kind of normal, if that makes sense. Plus I mentioned this before, but I actually have thick lacing through the heel here. So I'm gonna pound that out just to kind of flatten it out and get it out of the way. It clearly has a huge one hinge break in. Uh, the pocket itself is, not like super deep, but it swallows the ball for sure. With that being said, this thing is like super broken in, so it has a super wide open palm. So when it comes to like open palm ground balls, it's absolutely perfect. But you can also swallow it though for backhand, one hand plays. Something I've said before, with a one hand break in like this, uh, if you have a not super broken in glove, backhands can just get botched constantly because you have to be able to just swallow the ball on a backhand. Uh, whereas if you have that like deep pocket with like a two hinge break in, uh, a backhand is a little bit easier, even if you have a stiff glove. But Will, it's not perfect and I don't blame you. It's a youth glove, but here's my critique. My biggest thing is that it's pancaked. Now, a lot of people think that if you have a one hinge break in, it also is just normal to pancake it, but that's not true. Because let's say this is your hinge for a one hinge break in. Sure, that's great. You still want this to have a little bit of life. You don't want this to collapse in on itself. When you get used to shoving a glove in your bag or just keeping it in your garage like this, it creates just one flat hinge and that's never good. You never want your glove to be flat. Again, I know this is a youth glove. Who knows how long this has been in the garage, but I have to have something negative to say, right? Come on. Other than that though, there's not much else to say on this thing. It's just a youth glove. Like there's no shape to it really. It's not like it has a big flare or there's like open fingers. It's just kind of stock, kind of standard. Thumb comes in just slightly. Pinky and fingers are all just not moved at all. I'm not gonna lie though, Nakona made a pretty sturdy glove. Like this thing could absolutely still be used. Um, like I said, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. You compare this to my like Little League glove from like the same time era that Will was using or whatever. Mine's trash. This is totally solid. We've officially cleaned the glove. The logos are popping a little bit, which is great. I did notice that we didn't completely get that pine tar off the palm, but the problem is, is if I get it off, he's just gonna put it back on. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, let's actually break down the gloves and rate the break-ins. Wilson A2000 135SS, it's a slow pitch softball glove. The break-in itself is actually fine. This is nice and flat and kind of stiff, so the break-in is just one hinge, one hinge. I think that's great. Here's my big problem. You always want your glove to be open and welcoming. You don't have to flare it hard, but you never want a glove that is like closed off at all. And you can pretty clearly see he has like a curl in. He curls both thumb and pinky. In. So here's me literally opening the glove as wide as I can. Plus, when you go to close, because the fingers are curled in, they meet each other sooner. So it's like kind of awkward. There's like this very small gap of open to close. Ultimately though, six out of 10. That might sound harsh, but uh, that thumb and pinky. Now, here we go, my break-in. Now, just because I broke this glove in doesn't mean that it's just an automatic 10 out of 10. So here we go, thumb and pinky are both flared a little bit. It is a two hinge 
flat palm, flat heel break in, very even. So this is me kind of closing it evenly, but naturally, like when you actually catch a ball, you'll see it closes more so thumb to ring finger. I did my best to actually give this a little bit of a bowl effect. So past the pinky, I want it to be like rounded back. So these fingers curl in just a little bit. I am giving this a eight and a half out of 10. Let me explain. I couldn't get these dang fingers to flatten out. They kind of curve to the side, like the leather right there. I hate that. Some gloves, it's really hard to make it go straight. I just couldn't make it happen. Um, I did not do the hot water treatment. That definitely would have made a big difference. Eight and a half is solid though. I am proud of this work. Two in the pinky, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm proud of this. Like it's, I wouldn't be giving somebody a glove if I wasn't proud of it. I mentioned this earlier, but everybody's going home with a can of Sarna. I picked one guy though to have like an extra special treat. So our slow pitch guy. So he's actually up in Canada, which made me think he might use these. They might come in handy. Everybody could use bat grip. So string king, black bat grip. and like but not least this 44 headband that like 44 gave it to me with one of the last gloves they sent me i've never worn it now it's yours for everybody who's buying a new glove right now go check out ballgloveking.com the glove list is on there it's extremely helpful because man that is easily the most common question i get what glove should i get